Since the dawn of humanity, we have gazed into the skies and wondered what's out there. And our moon, so close and yet so far. In July of 1969, after trials and errors and the sacrifices of many, we took our first footsteps outside our planet, a remarkable achievement that took the efforts of an entire nation and captivated the dreams of the whole world. Apollo 11 is much more than a scientific accomplishment. It is a human achievement and one that will be forever remembered as our first steps in discovering our future. Apollo 11 was uh, such a strong influence on me as, as a kid. And this was, if you think about it, this was the accumulation from the very beginning, at the beginning of flight. All that we had learned, all that accumulated experience led us to this moment. It's just, um, it's amazing to think what, what people can do when they come together, when they work together. And the moon and the planets are there. And new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. And therefore, as we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. In that famous speech at Rice University, he said, we choose to go to the moon not because it is easy, but because it is hard. In talking about it, he often talked about sacrifice. And one of the things that's very important to remember is we did not go to the moon because it was popular. We went because it was important. It was a symbol of what America could accomplish if we put the effort in and if we made the necessary sacrifices and we committed ourselves to going there. One of the very important things to remember about Apollo is that we're feeling the effects of the legacy of the moon landing today. Uh, one of the great things about missions of discovery is that the greatest benefits are often things that you don't see ahead of time. And if you look at the, that great Earthrise image from Apollo 8, one of the astronauts said, it's almost like we had to go to the moon to discover ourselves. In undertaking these endeavors, it's the things that we don't know we'll learn that have the most value. I had the uh, opportunity to be uh, flight controller at NASA during Apollo. I was actually the EMU flight controller during Apollo 11, so when Neil and Buzz walked on the moon. Very exciting time. My first one was Apollo 9, where it was a North Orbit mission, Saturn V, the big one, and it had a lunar module, command module, and my backpacks on there. And it was gonna be the first time that we uh, actually, they were docked and we used all the communication Going into the Moker for Apollo 11, when they opened that door and I said, I'm the man on the console for those two astronauts' lives, that, uh, that hit me. I felt so lucky that I could be part of that. Of all the engineers around there, people smarter than me, they, they could have been in that slot. And it just, I felt like it's a question of having the right education and being in the right place at the right time and things will come together. We walked out Mission Control and in typical, wonderful 
evening sky in Houston, we, you know, we saw the moon. Several of us, you know, we walk, we kind of look at the moon and says, they're really there and we really did it. The system worked. It was phenomenal. All six missions, all 12 packs worked wonderfully during Apollo. Looking at this Apollo capsule right now, it, it brings back so many memories. I was nine years old when I watched those fuzzy black and white images of Neil Armstrong making that first step. And it was, it, it changed, changed me. It, it, it set my life in a direction. Right then at that moment, I had decided I was gonna be an astronaut. And if, probably good for NASA that that didn't happen. But here I am after, at the end of a career, near an end of a career in the aerospace industry, that this inspired me. And it still does, this, but this entire industry, we do things that other people think are too hard or impossible. And we do that every day. And to be a part of that, to be with those people, the people that did this, to work with those kind of people has been an incredible honor. And I hope and I know that Apollo and what Boeing and others are doing today to return to space will inspire that next generation of young people the way I was inspired. 50 years ago, Apollo 11 and the missions that followed proved that human achievement has no limits. It was a beacon of hope during a very turbulent and violent decade. That single event gave us the ability to look into the sky and say, there's life out there. And also to imagine the possibilities of exploring worlds beyond ours. But Apollo's greatest achievement was the ability to look back upon ourselves and realize how small and fragile our planet is. And for one brief moment, humanity truly was just one. Coming down the ladder now. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The lamp foot beds are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches. And I'll step off the lamp. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for man.